Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Slime Serpent mount. This was initially thought to be a secret mount because it was a mount that was in the game, but nobody knew how to obtain it. Normally these are like secret mounts, like Secret Finding Discord goes to long lengths to find out how to get these. Uh, we knew it had something to do with Plague Fall, but there really weren't any good leads, just a bunch of theories and stuff like that. It ends up being that it is actually not a secret after all. So um, it's actually just a free mount, assuming you can solo Heroic or Mythic Plague Fall last two bosses. So again, you can do this as any spec, any class, whatever. As long as you can solo Domina and Margrave in Heroic or Mythic Plague Fall, you can get this mount. So uh, there's nothing else to really say about this. So I'm just going to kind of go over. There's no like steps to get the, the mount. So I'm just going to go over some tips on how to handle these bosses. Maybe you're not used to soloing things. Maybe your item level is a little bit low. Um, I know it's not easy to do even at high item level, like easy being the operative word. You know, it could be lengthy and things like that. Uh, so yeah, first of all, let's Domina is the third boss. You can skip the first two bosses. That's the most important thing. You go to the right on the first boss, Globgrog. Um, you might have to pull some trash. You can use invisibility potions if you're a druid tank, let's say. Uh, soloing it as a druid tank, you could just stealth by, of course. And uh, so you might have to pull some trash along the way. But you're going to make yourself to the third boss, uh, Domina. Now, Domina is going to summon adds. Now, if you've only done this on like normal or maybe you've done random heroics and they just kind of skip the, the actual mechanics of the phase, you're going to want to deal with... Uh, the ads during Domina, uh, the, the, if you don't know that the webbing on the floor are ads, you can walk over them, do like an AOE of any kind, or just pulsate anything kind of damage, knock them out of their uh, stealth, and then kill kill them down, as you'll see in the video. Um, it's, it's quite easy mechanically to do. It can be a little bit rough as far as damage and stuff. Uh, this boss in particular is why I would recommend doing this as a prospect if possible. Uh, you could do this as a hunter. Hunters have done it as well. As of me making this video, we don't know of any other DPS classes that were able to do it um, other than hunter with a pet. But if you could do it, I mean, if you have the absolute best gear or something, then that, that would maybe allow you to pump it down. I know as Rhett, I couldn't get Domina below 40% even in very, very good gear um, because you just can't. You just are trying to burst it down without worrying about the ads and you just aren't able to do that. Uh, at least as rat, at least at least under my ability as rat, I wasn't able to do that. So I went prot, and then I just did Margrave as prot as well. Although uh, multiple DPS classes have said that they did Margrave because it is just burst windows. So you're getting under 66, 33, and then finishing her off. The first two phases are actually uh, har uh, on heroic, at least are actually uh, harder than the last phase because you don't have to deal with the ads anymore during that one. So yeah, Domina, just uh, take it slow, kill the ads. Uh, you, you're probably going to want to do a prospect for this. And yeah, uh, after you kill Domina, you just jump on down, head, clear clear the room for Margrave. And when Margrave starts up, sh uh, she'll summon a devoted thing uh, that casts a circle on the ground. You can soak that. Now, uh, what I found was ended up being best for me was I just kind of was trying to push her uh, and like kind of letting those guys go. Um, the one time where I had three spawn and the kind of like cleaving them down passively, the one time when I had three spawn, it actually spawned right next to me. So I was able to just kind of strafe back and forth and soak both of the circles that were on the ground. And one was then free casting and I was just healing through that. Again, I have a little bit higher item level. If you're really low item level, but you think you can do it, um, then I would just suggest maybe just focusing down each one. It's just going to take forever to do That's the way I started doing it. And it definitely was no threat of dying doing it that way, but it was a very lengthy process. So I just started, like I said, focusing on Margrave, cleaving down, um, the ads. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of heads up there. If you have a way to uh, dispel infectious rain, that can be quite important. It does, doesn't do a ton of damage on heroic, uh, but uh, it is still, you know, uh, a bit of extra damage that she'll cast quite often when you're trying to solo it because it takes longer to do. Uh, but if you can, uh, like I said, if you can do Margrave as a DPS, then I do recommend trying it. You are allowed to die doing this, so you can die and try again. Uh, there has been deaths and still completed it. So um, if you can DPS her down to 66 really quick with maybe like one ad spawning, kill the ad. Um, then, you know, boost or... Uh, uh, 
you know, just tear it down again to 33. Uh, one minute cooldowns, things like that would probably be the preference as far as that goes. So after you kill Margrave, so you just have the two bosses dead, Domino and Margrave, uh, head back up the stairs. And then before you get back to the slime where you first jump down, uh, to your right, it will be, will be a teleporter to teleport you back up. And then you'll be back in Domino's room and just start heading back, you know, up the stairs, back the way you came from. And to your left, though, on the side, you will see a slime serpent just sitting there. It says Curious Slime Serpent. You just walk over to the slime serpent. You right click on it. You pet it or whatever it is. And then you get the mount slime serpent. It's really that easy. It's the first one of these that I know of where you have to solo a dungeon on heroic or higher to obtain a mount. Uh, as of now, there's no other cues on what to do. I know I have no prerequisites done at all. Like, no, I wasn't trying to, like, use anything silly. Then At this point, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people, as I'm recording this, getting this mount. And, uh, yeah, the, tons of them haven't done anything at all. So, uh, it, it seems a bit odd that this is the way you complete it. The way you get the mount is by soloing heroic, you know, heroic or higher uh, plague fall. But that is what it seems to be. So... Good luck getting your mount. If you are a class that can't solo this, people are working right now on if there's ways to maybe um, have someone leave the group right before you kill Margrave and get credit for soloing it. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully hopefully everyone has a chance to get it because it is a, it is a pretty cool mount and it's like Kind of like a free mount, like you don't have to do a bunch of crap to get it. You just have to kill two bosses, but killing the two bosses on Heroic or Higher can be difficult for, you know, some casual players, and that's not fun, because secrets are typically for casual players anyways, so, and and elite players, but, and everybody in between. Uh, as always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel, because it helps me out so much, and other than that, everybody, have a good one.